This is Lilia with MMAinAsia.com and I'm talking to Ronald Lowe who's going to make his 1FC debut at the next car and we'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, your feelings about getting on such a big event and how you feel about representing Singapore and I want to know a little bit more about you personally too. All right. Okay. So you're pretty much a, a Muay Thai guy, yeah? Started out with stand-up? Yeah, started out with stand-up. Okay. Uh, grown to love Jiu-Jitsu. It's amazing art, you know. Um, yeah, so far, yes, yeah, started with stand-up. Love Jiu-Jitsu. MMA is just a way to blend it all together and see where it takes me, I suppose. Cool. Okay. And tell me a little bit about your Muay Thai career. Um, for Muay Thai, I have won seven fights. Uh, it's, it's good. Life is good. <laughs> Can't complain about winning seven fights, so yeah. How'd you get into Muay Thai? Oh, well, it's that movie Ong Bak, you know, that showed when I was 16. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I was like wondering, whoa, shit, this Tony Jaa really kicks ass. Yeah. I'm like, I've got to learn this. The Thai Jackie Chan. Yeah, the, <laughs> the Thai Jackie Chan, I guess so. I was like, shit, is this for real? I've got to go learn this, man. So I, um, a friend of mine brought me to Fight G, where I'm at now, and well, 16 till now, that's 9 years, so I've been training on and off for 9 years. So. Wow, okay, so can you do that thing where you like bend over and jump through tires and stuff? Um, sadly no. <laughs> sadly no. <laughs> okay. I'm trying the tires at the gym, I can kick tires, but not jump through them that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where have your fights or your Thai fights been? My Muay Thai fights? Yeah. All in Singapore actually. Yeah. yeah, so I haven't really fought overseas for Muay Thai yet. Maybe it'll be soon, I, I, I don't know. Right now I'm quite unsure where all this is going to take me. So one step at a time, one FC, here I come. Cool, cool. And when you fought before in MMA, so this yeah. will be, this is your third fight in MMA? First fight. First uh, fight. Oh wait, this is my second fight. Second fight. Yeah, I fought one. <laughs> okay, you fought, you fought an ultimate beatdown in Malaysia, right, correct? Yeah. And your opponent was? Uh, I think he, he went by the mob, Fauzi something. Yeah. The mob. yeah I'm, I'm not too sure of his name, to okay. be honest. Because, yeah. uh, I'm not too sure why he goes by now or whatever, but it was the mob on that day. That's all I remember. Okay. So just got in there, did what I had to do, and it ended uh, within the first round. It's all good. The guy was a tough guy, so uh, it took a while. It took a while. Yeah. It took a while. It took one round. Well, yeah, he, he, he did. He did quite a bit of struggling on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I got, I got, I got to him. Struggling on the ground. That's a good way to put it. So apparently, you're not a nice guy. Everybody talks like you are. <laughs> Did a bit of struggling on the ground. Well, how did you how did you feel about that experience? It was uh, you know the ultimate beatdown is um, pretty well known. They're going there on their eleventh event. And yeah, 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 they are. They are. I'm gonna be there actually. So um, ultimate beatdown. I think it's great. It's a good way to get exposure to um, for the local fighters as well as ours. Because I mean the causeway is just just across the corner. I mean it's good to have this kind of like uh, partnership going on where Singaporean fighters come, Malaysian fighters come. Doesn't matter. Everyone comes and fights. You know, do what they love. And you know, it all works out. I mean, you get to spot new talent, you get a, a place to, a, a little community here in a, our part of Asia. You know, it's all good. I, I really like it. And I think Chan Yik um, is doing a great job. The guy, Melvin, oh, I, quite a guy. Yeah, yeah. so you, got, you, you have mad props for him. Yeah, of course. That's cool. That guy's got my respect, for sure. Um, That's cool. I've heard so, I haven't really spoken to him all that much, but the people around me tell, tell me nice things about him. So I believe them. Cool, yeah. okay. And now you got you got like a huge step up to fight in one FC. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. I've got to thank so many people for it. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. Like uh, I think Brad Brad Robinson, mm -hmm. he actually got me in this fight. Yeah, Darren for training me, and it's crazy. I'm just so happy to be able to fight one FC. It's quite a dream come true, actually. Yeah, you're gonna be fighting in something like in front of sixteen thousand people. Yeah, you know, sixteen thousand people. Have you been to another one FC show then? I've been, I've been to the previous one FC show in Singapore. Okay. It was awesome. Uh, I went watched Bruce fight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so what are you, what are your feelings like? Um, are you focusing at all on what the atmosphere is going to be like? What the whole experience is going to be like beyond, beyond actually fighting? And are you, are you thinking about that at all? Well, of course, uh, I do think about things like uh, the atmosphere, the experience. I run it through my mind, what's it going to be like, the enter and whatnot. But I guess when the time comes and I do enter the ring, it's going to be just uh, going in to do a job. Something I've been training for for the past, what, a month or so? Yeah, so just going in to do a job. Um, but I'm really enjoying the experience up to now. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's a crazy experience. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> it's a little bit strange for you because you're a Singaporean, but you did recently, you moved to Hong Kong yeah. um, to pursue studies, yeah? Right, yeah. So you, you kind of like, you upped and left in the middle of your training camp. and 
um, but fortunately you've had you've had Darren here, your coach, with you. That's right. To to help you along and get you readjusted into a different kind of life. But um, so what's it like? Tell me tell me going to university full time, but also training for a fight. How are you handling that? Whew, um, handling it relatively well. I'm doing okay in school, which is good. I'm not. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm doing okay in training, I suppose, so that's okay as well. It's just, s sleep's got to give, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Besides everything else, sleep, um, the personal life has to hold, everything's on hold. So right now it's just school and train. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, and going forward, like, from this fight, mm -hmm. this is pretty much launching your MMA career. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of guys, they actually quit college or quit uni, and they decide that they're going to go to MMA full-time. Um, you know, even even with their parents saying, there's no way. <laughs> <But> <laughs> what do you think? Do you think there is there a lure for you to, to fight full-time, or will you try to do both in tandem? Um, I'm going to try to do both in tandem for now, but see what opportunities, uh, well, arise for me in the future, I suppose. So right now, I'm, I'm kind of going both ways. Uh, for one, I, I love this whole uh, martial arts MMA thing, you know. It's it's insane. I really would like to do this for life. On the other hand, um, I really like gemology. That's what I'm doing now. Um, so... Oh, that's like rocks, like really expensive rocks. Really expensive stuff. rocks, right. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> stuff you can't... Yeah, just really expensive rocks. <laughs> Well, it, it sounds like both careers could be pretty lucrative. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Um, it's just a question of which one I enjoy more for now. Um, so right now, there's no harm in taking both right now because I think I can still manage. So there'll be a point I have to choose and I'll just wait till then. Uh, one, one step at a time, I guess. Excellent. Okay, yeah. Excellent. Um, so that's kind of unusual, like a gemologist guy who's a... He likes rocks and he likes to rock heads. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so what got you interested in that? Um, I think it was the atmosphere of growing up because my mom has been this trait for a while. Okay. So uh, I hung around uh, gems quite a bit, so it kind of grew on me. So I, I was always wondering, what what got what got my mom so interested in all this? Why why does she view this job like a uh, like a passion? That's of a job more more as a passion. And what why do these small little stones have so much allure to so much so many people? What? Diamonds. I don't know. I just really want <laughs> you just like the glittery stuff. <laughs> I, I guess I, I guess I do like the glittery stuff. Mm, okay. Yeah. Cool. What's your favorite movie? Right Besides now? On Bach. <laughs> huh. Oh, I like. I actually like Fight Club. Of course. Yeah, Fight Club's <laughs> awesome. It's not about fighting. It's about anarchy, terrorism, that Ooh. kind of thing. Oh, you're not gonna be allowed in back in Singapore now, but okay. Yeah, probably not. But yeah, it's a good movie nonetheless. Hey, Brad Pitt. <laughs> what? What's, is it Brad Pitt? Yeah, it's Brad Pitt. Yeah. It's... And Edward Norton. Yeah. And what's not to love? And what's your, what kind of music do you like? Um, more or less everything from trance to heavy metal to uh, rave, you know, um, okay. rock, mainstream stuff. I like that too. So whatever whatever I like, I probably just listen. I'm not really much of a. I've got to only listen to like trance or I really like uh, hip hop, and I only go for that. I'll just listen to whatever there is out there. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. You know. What's your walkout song gonna be? Uh, you picked it yet? Yeah, I picked it already. Do you want to share it or no? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's No Stress by Lauren Wolf. Wow, okay. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. It's about how I do not want to work on that day. But I do, I do. I, I do have to work, you know, 15 minutes of work. <laughs> so yeah, that's fine. Well, 18 minutes counting the break, so yeah. <laughs> so your coach, um, I've had the opportunity to see him since, you know, he's been in Hong Kong, hanging around the gym, yeah, um, did a seminar with us here at TriQuest. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, he's really a thorough guy. He kind of knows the the whole game plan from yeah, he does. top to bottom. So, uh, how how intense have you been working on like strategizing and making a plan, a game plan? Well, for him, he'll just give me the strategy on that day. I suppose I'm not too sure. Right now, we're just drilling whatever that needs to be drilled. So we drill stuff like stand up, stuff on the ground, transitions, uh, cage techniques. Well, whatever there is to cover, we cover. So whatever he would want me to use on that day, I will use. Okay. So yeah. Do you have any special moves like tech in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. I think it'll be semicircle, semicircle, and three hard punches. Uh, hopefully a fireball comes out of my hand and yeah, I obliterate the guy. <laughs> um, I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you see yourself winning? Um, how do I see myself winning? With a beer in hand, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. In the cage or after? Because <laughs> if it's in the cage, I'll be happy to bring you one. Sure, yeah, okay. why not? <laughs> that sounds <Okay>. good. 
a beer, I don't know, probably call everyone in, you know, a lot of people to thank, you know. It's the whole crazy lead up to the fight, you know, you know that the, the people around you are the most important. It's not, fighting is not a solo, solo, it's not a, it's not a individual sport. You go there individually to compete, sure, but you need a freaking team, man. Yeah. It's, it's no fun to do alone. Yeah. yeah. And, and weight cut, you're you're okay with with handling your weight cut? Yeah, weight cut's okay. You know, okay. life is good. Uh, Hong Kong is a tough place to do a weight cut. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine like right up to like uh, what was it, Lang Kwai Fong LKF, with my coach and my uh, training buddy, and I'm the only one there that has to cut weight. All right, water, man, water. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> no spirits. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> no street food. No street food. No spirits. Uh, no dim sum. Oh. <sighs> God, ah, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Trust so, you, you no. Know. You have to pig out after you're finished. I suppose, yeah. All back right. home, back here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Well, congratulations on signing to One FC to a huge promotion and in your hometown, yes, no yes. doubt. So you have a, you have a lot of weight on your shoulders for this competition, but yes. it sounds like you have a pretty good grip on it. And really looking forward to seeing you put on a good show in the cage. Thank you. I will. I will. Thank you. All right. All right.